Especially when Lizzo's on. <laughs> I don't feel as good as hell. So the start of this week actually went really, really well. I intended to do an easy 5K, which ended up being my fastest 5K of the year. It was kind of one of those runs where I set off, my legs felt great, I felt great, I felt confident. In my head, I was like, why take it easy when I could like get a pretty good time? Even though it wasn't like the fastest 5K I've ever done, it means that I'm on track to start achieving faster runs in the future and to get to my end goal, which is beating my current personal best of 23 minutes. So 27 minutes, 27 minute 5k, that's a minute knocked off from Friday which was four days ago and 10 minutes knocked off from the first 5k run in March. So we're on track, we're definitely on track and no pain either which is probably the biggest success out of it all. Protein, food and going through this footage. So yeah, it was a pretty good run. I really, really enjoyed it. I don't usually like doing that route, but I know it's like a set 5K. It's a 5K that I've been doing for years and it's a really good way to measure my progress and to see how far I've come. And then in the middle of the week, my motivation and my drive for running kind of was non-existent. I just wasn't really in the mood to run. Um, I didn't really have any energy or anything like that. So I took two days off and decided to just have an easy week, which is fine. Like everyone has days, weeks like that. And as well, my injury kind of flared up a little bit, which I will talk about um, later on in the video. And then the end of the week consisted of some hill repeats, which is something I'm trying to incorporate every week um, consistently because even though the fitness is there, I know that I'm fit enough to, to run the distance. The speed isn't necessarily there. So I know that that's a weakness that I really need to focus on. That workout consisted of 10 hill repeats and before every rep I made sure that my heart rate was fully down before I started it and yeah it went really well. The intention was to vlog it and to kind of go through exactly what I was doing um, with Jack. However I ended up putting all of my stuff in dog poo which Jack picked up and we ended up having to rush home who wants to walk around or run with pooey hands. And the day after my hill repeats, I did a recovery run, a 4k recovery run, which was pretty successful because I actually managed to keep a steady, slow pace, which is something I'm not very good at. Right. Plan is easy running today because I've not managed to do it yet because I get far too excited every time I go out for a run. So that's the main goal. So hard keeping like a slow pace, especially when Lizzo's on. <laughs> I don't feel as good as hell. time last year I quit running for good because of injury. I essentially just gave up on something that I that I loved. I gave up on my passion. So this year I've decided to start running again and to do that I signed up to my first ever 10k race, the Manchester Run. So during my first two runs back I experienced a really painful collarbone and the only way I could describe it is like toothache. It felt like I had toothache in my collarbone which meant that I couldn't run and in the end it kind of like spread around here 
around my shoulder blade. I think it is like a, tra a trape trapezium, a trapezius injury. So that meant I wasn't really training for a race anymore. I was going to give up on the race. I was going to give up on running again. I just thought like running isn't for me. My body can't handle it for one reason or the other. And because of the current circumstances, I couldn't exactly go and get it looked at either. So instead of giving up this time, I took a few weeks off and tried different things to prevent running hurting. And to be fair, these little things kind of helped a little bit. The first thing I tried was Tiger Balm, which helped. And then I tried running with rock tape, which really helped, but because it's so sticky, it hurt my skin. So every time I took it off, I think there was one time when it actually ripped my skin. So I tried not to use that again. I also tried to run with something in my hand and that also helped as well. And throughout the course of trying these new things and trying different things to prevent the pain, the pain has kind of eased off a little bit. There's some runs where it hurts. Like for example, yesterday I went on a, an easy run and for the first 2K, like it really, really hurt. And a lot of the time now, it's not necessarily the run that hurts. It's like the day after I can feel it. It's like a crampy kind of pain. But it's not the worst injury in the world. I can still run, I can like power through it, but it kind of, like it knocked my confidence quite a lot. And because I'm so inconsistent with running, I am determined to not give up this time. I'm determined to do everything I can to be the best runner I can be. Um, still do these races, still push myself, still push my capabilities. And yeah, like essentially just, enjoy the run, enjoy the experience, and hopefully in a few months I'll be able to get it looked at and sort the problem out and not have to worry about going out for a run and it hurting. So I hope that kind of explains a little bit more about my injury because this whole job vlog is kind of built upon it. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next one.